lengthy, agile, moves well laterally to chase down some of those 50-50s as they careen off the rim. Tam Mays, nice pass inside and off the window for Kamari Murray. Trying to find a little bit of rhythm here early on. Uh, dialing down, YGC has come out flat. They've not been engaged. Communicating defensively, showing a sense of urgency there, and they're getting beat up on a backboard as well. And right on cue, Raton Mays. YGC will get it. They come quickly with three seconds. The three ball on the way, and good. And it beat the buzzer, and a much needed pick me up for YGC. Round one, game three from Rucker. And a push on the lay in, and basically giving Raton Mays a three point play. Had a four point play to end the first quarter. Where you let him go by and you reach, <laughs> and then there's just, oh, he's gone. I'm just going to push him. But push him with a purpose. And I'm not trying to say get somebody hurt out there, although Raton Mays almost did going to the cameraman, but Mari Murphy finding himself an open bunny just by changing hands. Or should we say running the concrete? <laughs> exactly. Right? You don't find concrete that nice on most courts, so. I was Rutgers. impressed the guy took a charge in the first game. <laughs> had big game after big game as a Seminole. He had 35 against Carolina, 35 against Miami, and a beautiful drive here. And that cuts it to one at 30 to 29. Turning the corner, getting the glass. Raton May scores again on another foul on Hoopville. Now they're looking at building this lead. Little screen and roll. A slip draws both defenders, but Dan Mays gets Freeman on his hip, and again, you've got the bit. Gives YGC a big second chance. Mays drives, leans in, and puts it in.